Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. So today we are going to create a multi-page web app in Python using Dash. It is extremely easy and extremely fast to create a multi-page app in Python if you use Dash. So we're going to create this app here together in this first video. And it's going to be a simple app with three pages. Page one will have a drop down and a graph. Page two will have a radio button and a graph and page three will just have regular text and in the next couple of videos we will continue developing this dash app so it has more and more components and we can actually connect the features so when you click on the drop down it actually updates the app so to follow along I would recommend going into my github uh, it's going to be, I'm going to put the link under the video, go into app A for this week, and then just <clears throat> download uh, the files. Um, if you want to, if you prefer to download everything at once, you can just go to my main repo page, star it if you like it, fork it if you know what you're doing, copy this right here, and then open your PyCharm, VS Code, any Python IDE, and you can do here in the terminal, you can just do pip clone HTTP, that, that, that uh, repo, and you will be able to have access to all of the code and all of the videos. Um, and then you can just go to the code right here and write intro and then app A. Okay, so pause the video if you need, make sure you have the file. Um, and then you can restart the video. If you don't have the file, that's fine. You can easily follow along without having the files. Okay, so I'm inside the app right now. And one important thing to remember when you are creating the multi-page app with Dash is the file structure. So we have our main app. Everything is gonna go under app A. And under app A, we have um, a folder called pages. And inside the pages, we have a Python file representing each page of the app. Outside of the pages folder, but inside the main app, a uh, folder, we have the app.py. And this app.py is what connects the three pages together into one multi-page app. So let's look at page number one, for example. Page number one, we are importing the libraries that we are using in on this page. So we're importing Dash because we're going to use Dash. We're importing the DCC, the core components and HTML components because we are going to use them right here to display our dropdown and to display our graph. And then Plotly Express is, is actually our histogram. So we need that as well. And then every single page, not the app.py file, not the main app file but every single page will need a register page um, uh, line of code that you need to put in here right here right here and right here so page one register page underscore name underscore you always have to do that in every single register page and then this one in page one will put path equals forward slash J this just means that this is the home page we don't have any path here. We don't have any path on page three, just on page one with forward slash because this represents home page. It's forward slash, I'll write this right here, is home page. Okay, so we registered our page so then the app can read it into um, the browser. And then we are importing data from Plotly Express built in um, Gapminder. So we're just gonna bring our data into our app and um, call it DF, and then we build the layout. Anything that goes in here is represented inside the layout. So in this case, I have a drop-down component. This is this is page one. So if you look at page one, right here, I have a drop-down component: Europe, Africa, all with all these options. If you go back, we'll see DCC drop-down for. X, this is a list comprehension. These are all my options. This is the same thing as saying options. And here I'm saying for uh, X in the DF continent, unique countries, uh, uh, for every country, show us a country. Um, 
it's the same thing as as doing this you can even try it out this is how I first learned for X and unique just like this copy it for X and unique print X and you'll see that if you rerun the app it will actually print every single country right Asia well continent in this case not country continent so this is what we're doing we're, these options are going inside the drop-down okay so we have the options of the drop-down and then we give it an ID we'll use this later in the second video to connect the drop-down with the graph and then the graph also has an ID and the figure that will go inside this uh, graph component inside of all of this the figure will be a bar chart, uh, bar chart. and this bar chart it, sorry it looks like a bar chart but it's actually a histogram so it's just px histogram and then you're using the df data frame right here and x-axis is continent and the y-axis is life expectancy expectancy average of life expectancy and expectancy and continent so that's page one page two is very similar has uh, all the libraries that we need we register the page incorporate data and here we have the bar graph on page two the bar graph right here and then we have uh, radio buttons which in uh, dash is called radio items we're doing the same thing for X in DF the day column will take only the unique days so they don't repeat themselves for every day unique day will create a day an option for that day so we have Sunday Saturday Thursday Friday and then the ID that we'll use later page three we don't have anything uh, we don't have any component or or graph we just have a markdown with this text right here page three has this text and this can change live so if you put this because this is a layout anything you put inside the layout inside a div will be displayed on the page so I can say this will be the content of page three and much more do that save it let's rerun the app and you'll see page three this will be the content of page three and much more so we just updated page three and we also uh, showed you how to update page one now this is meaningless unless we bring everything together with the app.py file this connects all the three pages together so the app.py file you import dash and we're going to import also HTML and DCC because we're using that here and we don't register page we just do we instantiate dash underscore underscore name and we have to put use pages true because we are using multiple pages okay this is going to be a multi-page app not a single page app and then we do app layout so this is also different you see it's not just layout it's actually app dot layout and then we have the HTML div this represents everything that's going to be displayed on the page and we're saying that we want to create this uh, div that has the title multi-page app with dash this title and underneath we have a div that is kind of invisible it's just going to have um, it's not going to have any title but it's going to have links the di uh, dash core link component allows you to create these links right but we have to tell the app what we want each link to say and what it's going to link to we need to send it the, the actual link so we're going to say for going to the uh, page registry the values of the page registry which is everything that's in here in each and every page going to the values of the page registry and for each and every page take out the name of the page and link and the href will be the link of the page now all of this goes inside the DCC link right so if you click on control um, uh, click on the link you'll see the first argument is children and then it's href so this is the same as um, children like this and then you have a comma and then you have href right so we're saying for every page we know we have three pages so the first page will have three DCC links the first DCC link will have the page name of PG1 and we know that that is the name of the page 
because you can see here it says PG1, PG2, PG3, right? So the first name will be PG1, um, and then the href, the link, will actually be the page path. And you can see the page path is, in page one, the path is just a forward slash, right? So for the first page, it's going to be called PG1, and you can see here PG1, and uh, it's a forward slash, which is the same thing like this. It's exactly the same thing. If you add a forward slash, it's like the home page. And then this uh, for the second page, the name would be PG2, and uh, the path would be, go to second page, the path will be forward slash PG2. PG3 will have forward slash PG3. The name is PG3, and the forward slash is PG3. So this is so. Uh, this is why it's so cool with Dash because everything is done on the back end. Everything is done uh, without you having to manually change the name or manually change uh, the path of each of every single page. Um, but I will show you in future videos how to do this. If you want to change page, if you want to change the path, um, if you want to add more components, you can click Control, click Register Page, and you see you have orders and title and description images we're going to learn all this in future pages so you can create a really comprehensive uh, multi-page app just in python the last thing is these are just the links here what i just showed you is just links the content of each and every page radio item with bar charts drop down with histogram the content is actually like I said the layout of each and every page the layout will have to be represented as dash dot page container so just remember this the dash dot page container inside the main app.py file inside the layout of the main uh, the app.py file this represents the layout of every single page right so if I'm on page one if I click on the link for page one like this page one I'll have a drop down and a histogram right here a drop down and the histogram all of this page one all of this layout we could just copy this like that all of this will go inside of here like this that's what happens interactively and if I click on uh, page two then all of the layout of page two, all of this will go right here because here's where we put the page container right here. And as you can see, this is right under the horizontal, right under the links, and then the horizontal um, line break. This it's gray line break. All right. So this is um, a brief overview of how to create a multi-page app in Python. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned a lot. And if you did. Subscribe to my channel, turn on your alert, because I'm going to show you over the next several weeks how to develop this app so it's a much stronger and much more uh, comprehensive uh, multi-page app that you can do a lot more with. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Always remember, we're better together, so help each other out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.